Corgi is an engine for creating multi-platform video games using Kotlin. It supports JVM, JavaScript, Android, iOS, and native executables for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Corgi is optimized for creating small executables. Furthermore, it has several integrations with other libraries like Dragon Bones, Box 2D, Adobe Animate, or AdMod. It also provides an IntelliJ plugin to ease development. In order to use Corgi, we can download the template from Corgi's website and open it in our IDE. Or we can just install the plugin from IntelliJ. On this tutorial, we will cover how to install and use the plugin from IntelliJ IDEA. Corgi is plugins compatible with Community and Ultimate versions as well as Android Studio. With the IDE opened, we go to Configure, then on Marketplace we search for Corgi. Once it appears, we press the install button, and after the installation completes, we press the OK one. In order to activate the plugin, we have to restart the IDE. In the first instance, let's check that we have Corgi's plugin installed and activated. To do so, we press Configure, then Plugins. If it's not activated, we press the checkbox on the row of the plugin to activate it. Now that we have Corgi installed, we can create a new project. Press over Create New Project and select Corgi's template. Default configuration is good enough, so we press Next, Next, and finish. First time, it will take a while since it has to download all the dependencies including Kotlin native libraries. We can see that the template has created a build Gradle KTS file using Kotlin's Gradle DSL. In this file, we apply the Corgi's Gradle plugin and we can define several aspects of our game like its ID, its name, the orientation, the author, whether or not it's going to start as full screen or the icon for the game. In the src folder we can find the code of our game. In src common main kotlin main.kt is where the entry point of the game is defined. In the main function, we can see that there is a play gutter icon, but when pressing, it doesn't provide any options. To launch our game, we have to execute a Gradle task instead. To do so, we open the Gradle panel, select our project, and on the task group Koji Run, we choose the task for the desired platform. In this case, we are going to execute it on the JVM. So we choose the task Run JVM. This opens up a window with our game being executed by the JVM. We can also run the game on a browser using JavaScript. To do so, we execute the RunJS task. And with this, we have finished the first Koji video tutorial. Hope it helped you to discover this open source game engine. See you in the next tutorial.